John Toller, the first Earl of Norbury, born 1745, nicknamed the Hanging Judge, was a controversial Irish lawyer, politician, and judge born in County Tipperary, Ireland, the son of Daniel Toller, a member of Parliament, and Letitia Otway. Toller wrongfully convicted an innocent young man from Blanchardstown of the capital crime of sheep stealing. The man was hanged, and his distraught widow survived him by only a few months. According to legend, on her deathbed, she cursed Toller, vowing to haunt him from beyond the grave until the end of time, promising that she would never let him have another night's sleep. Toller was said to have suffered from chronic insomnia after that, a deserving end to a very brutal man. On his deathbed, age 85, Toller reportedly changed into a phantom black hound condemned forever to roam the streets, dragging a hefty chain in his wake. His appointment to the bench was controversial, and Lord Clare, the Lord Chancellor of Ireland, is said to have quipped, Make him a bishop, or even an archbishop, but not a chief justice. The dictionary National Biography opines, His scant knowledge of the law, his gross partiality, his callousness, and his buffoonery completely disqualified him for the position. His court was in a constant uproar owing to his noisy merriment. He joked even when the life of a human being was hanging in the balance. This earned him the nickname, The Hanging Judge. He married Grace, the daughter of Hector Graham, in 1778, with whom he had two sons and two daughters. After he resigned from the bench, John Toller was created Viscount Glandine and Earl Norbury in Kings County in the Peerage of Ireland. The titles were created with special, with special remainder to his second son Hector, as his eldest son Daniel was then considered mentally unwell. John Toller purchased the house at Duro Abbey around the year 1815. In 1799, he brought forward a law that gave the Lord Lieutenant of Ireland the power to suspend habeas corpus and impose martial law. In his role as Attorney General, he was responsible for the prosecution of those involved in the Irish Rebellion of 1798. His most famous trial was that of Irish nationalist leader Robert Emmett. Norbury interrupted him and abused Emmett throughout the trial before sentencing him to death. Robert Emmett was the son of a Dublin doctor, and he had joined the United Irishmen as a student at Trinity College, through which he met Sarah Curran, the sister of a classmate. He fell in love with her, but her father did not approve of him, so their courtship was conducted clandestinely through letters and secretly arranged meetings. Sarah supported Emmett's revolutionary plans, and the two planned to eventually elope to the United States. However, Robert was arrested before this could happen, and eventually so was Sarah. He was sentenced to be hanged, drawn, and quartered. And she later accepted a marriage proposal from a soldier and moved to Sicily with him. The Irish poet Thomas More, who knew both Robert and Sarah, wrote the following ballad celebrating the couple. She is far from the land where her young hero sleeps, and lovers around her are sighing, but coldly she turns from their gaze and weeps, for her heart in his grave 
is lying. Please like, share, and comment on this video. Thank you.